Anna has graduated from university. Congratulations, Anna. You did it. But what happens now? After graduating university, Anna has successfully secured a job at Working Grad Limited. But she's worried about whether she can work for the company and stay in the UK. One of the ways in which Anna can continue to stay in the UK while working is with a skilled worker's visa. But what is a skilled worker's visa? This is a type of visa available for individuals who have a confirmed job offer in an eligible sector. There are a wide range of eligible occupations from chefs to paralegals, estate agents and carpenters. However, this visa is not available for certain occupations like sport persons. If Anna is unsure about whether her job is eligible for a skilled worker's visa, she can ask her employer, Working Grad Limited. To qualify for the skilled worker's visa, Anna must also be paid at least the minimum salary for the type of work she will be doing. The minimum salary for a skilled worker's visa applicant must be £25,600 or £10.10 £10 an hour, or the going rate for the minimum salary. This, however, varies depending on the type of job. So how exactly does Anna obtain a skilled worker's visa? The skilled worker's visa is a sponsorship system. Since Anna is a foreign national, she cannot simply apply for a skilled worker's visa unaided. Therefore, Working Grad Limited would act as her sponsor, ensuring that Anna has the right to work and live in the UK for the duration of her contract. Before Anna applied to work at Working Grad Limited, she checked the register of licensed sponsors in the government website and contacted Working Grad Limited to confirm if they would sponsor her skilled worker's visa. It is important that Working Grad Limited is a licensed sponsor for Anna to receive this visa. If Working Grad Limited was not a licensed sponsor, Anna would not be able to apply for the skilled worker's visa. As an approved UK employer and a licensed sponsor, Working Grad Limited would have given Anna a certificate of sponsorship for her skilled worker visa application. The certificate of sponsorship is an important electronic record which Anna must use to apply for a visa within three months of receiving it. Applying for this visa is simple, so there is no need for Anna to stress. This can be done by applying via the government.uk website, paying the application fee which ranges from £625 to £1,423 depending on your circumstances, as well as the healthcare surcharge of £624 and uploading the certificate of sponsorship received from her employer. But when exactly can Anna apply for this visa? Anna can apply for this visa up to three months before the day Anna is due to start work in the UK. So if Anna is due to start working at Working Grad Limited on the 1st of September 2023, she can make her visa application on the 1st of June 2023. Anna can make her visa application either from the UK, within the UK or outside the UK. If Anna makes the application from within the UK, it is important that Anna does not leave the UK while she is waiting for her visa to be approved by the Home Office, as this could have a negative impact on her decision. A skilled worker visa usually includes a number of conditions that are provided by the government once Anna's application is successful. It is important that Anna follows the conditions of a visa because a failure to comply with these conditions could negatively impact Anna's immigration status in the UK. There are a number of restrictions for people with skilled workers visas. For example, Anna is unable to apply for most benefits a state pension and she cannot change jobs unless she updates her visa and informs the home office. If Anna loses her job through redundancy, company restructuring, Working Grad Limited will have to notify the home office. In return, the home office would specify the number of days Anna has to remain in the UK. This is usually 60 days and within these 60 days, Anna will have to seek alternative employment which sponsors her visa in order to remain in the UK. It's important for Anna to be aware of her visa restrictions to avoid breaching her visa conditions. 
If Anna breaches her visa conditions or fails to notify the Home Office of a change in circumstances, she could face serious consequences such as having her visa taken away, being deported or facing criminal sanctions. Entering the corporate world can be nerve-wracking, but don't worry. As a foreign national, Anna is entitled to all the same employment law protections that her colleagues who are UK nationals are entitled to. But what are Anna's employment rights? As an employee of Working Grad Limited, Anna has a right to a minimum wage, the right to a safe and healthy workspace and the right to paid holidays. Anna also has the right to protection against discrimination and unfair treatment and the right to join a trade union. Additionally, if Working Grad Limited is, is looking to dismiss Anna, they need to do it in the right way. They need to conduct adequate and fair investigations to give her a disciplinary hearing. This should be done to ensure that Anna understands what is going on and that she has a right to reply. For more information about her employment rights, Anna can check the UK government website on employment status and rights. For more information on employment rights and skilled workers visas, please visit the United Kingdom Council for International Student Affairs website or the Advisory Consolation and Arbitration Services. Good luck, Anna!